Have you ever woken up in the morning and been like, wow, I'm so alert, energetic, and ready to face the day? Yeah, me neither. So I typically use coffee as a way to fill the empty void that my energy should be taking up in my life. So every morning I make myself coffee, and uh, there's different ways that you can also make yourself coffee. Uh, coffee shows up in many different places, but the first step generally is to get yourself some coffee beans. The original people who made coffee in South America could find these beans in like bushes and stuff. So you could probably wrestle around for long enough. You might find some in a bush somewhere. Uh, this is a really inefficient way to find coffee beans. I would suggest finding them at a store. Uh, Ralph's would be one place that would come to mind. Also, uh, Stater Brothers, that's that's a good one. Uh, Costco, that's, that's another one. You could find coffee beans if you wanted enough coffee beans to last you through the apocalypse. So, anyways, after you've found your coffee beans, uh, there's two different ways that your coffee beans could be presented to you. They might be in full bean form or they might be ground up. Uh, either way, they have to end up ground up. So you better find a way to get your beans ground up. Uh, you could be a normal person and purchase them ground up, but if you want to say that you eat your coffee in full bean form and then grind it up, you can do that too, I guess. That's kind of nice. Um, so there's different ways you can grind it up. You could use a grinder. Um, these work okay. If you own a fidget spinner, you could spin it really fast and then throw the beans onto it. Uh, I haven't tried this method, but I, I assume it would work if you spun it fast enough. Uh, another way, if you just hit it really hard, like with your hand, uh, eventually it'll turn into dust, which is what you need to make coffee. So once you've got that coffee dust, most people just call it coffee grounds, you know, like the stuff that we walk on, uh, you can put it in the coffee machine. If you don't have a coffee machine... You can find them in a bunch of different places. You could check the trees. Uh, they are indigenous to the rainforest, so sometimes they'll hang around there. Uh, probably not the best way to find them. Uh, they hang around in Bed Bath & Beyond a lot of times. More in the Beyond section than the bed or the bath. You could find them in, you know, Target or a Walmart if you really are getting desperate. But... You should try to buy one because wild ones don't work as well. So now that you've got all of the parts necessary, you should start by taking out your carafe and pouring in six ounces of water for every one to two tablespoons of coffee grounds that you're going to be putting in. Voila. Then you'll open the top. Um, fumble around because you put the coffee machine in the wrong spot but then you'll pour the water into the reservoir located in the back of the coffee machine uh, then put the carafe right back in where you got it from good manners then you'll uh, put the coffee filter in this little cup here you don't need to take the cup out but I did it anyways because I'm an overachiever then you'll put in those uh, tablespoons of coffee grounds. I did two because I used six ounces of water for purposes of demonstration. Then you make sure everything's in the correct location and uh, press the wrong button, then press the right button, uh, then press the right button again and turn it off and then turn it back on. And uh, yeah, that would be how you make coffee in a coffee machine. So anyways, that's how you make coffee. Uh, hope you learned something. I hope the thing you learned was how to make coffee more than anything else. But if you, if you learned something else, that's cool too. Uh, I'd say thanks for watching, but you really didn't have much of a choice. Even though some of you aren't watching anyways, which I guess is cool too. 
So I guess I'll just end this because I'm mostly done now. Bye, have a beautiful time.